So Nigel, with all these uh, Twitter exchanges and all this tension and stress going on, how are you even able to focus on your game over here? Well, with difficulty, I, 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 I think I'm actually not playing badly, but it's it's uh, it's it's uh, difficult for me. I think my calculation is not uh, on the top level. I'm uh, spending. Uh, a lot of time before seeing things. I, I think my calculation has been all right. Well, I'll find out today. I don't know what the engines say about my game. But I think my, my calculation has been fine, but it's just, it's taking me a long time to get there. And I've had no preparation actually in this event so far. So I'm just playing with my fingers. And I, I, I finished, I had to do an article before the game uh, so I got that out of the way. I think tomorrow I'll be able to do some proper preparation for my, my game. I mean, today I was just in a, in a hurry and tried to finish. Um, and I've got tickets for the IPL, which is the most important thing. So win, lose or draw, I had to finish quickly today. So. <laughs> and it, it was the best result. Anyway, winning quickly is better than losing quickly. For sure. uh, did you decide to play this event before uh, you decided on, phys uh, on uh, your candidature or what was it like? I, I, I did some, uh, let's say, uh, let's say, re rearrangement on on things. Um, I had some things in my diary, and I realised actually I'm not going to get much um, chess in. Uh, there was a, a high possibility I was going to run, um, so. Uh, yeah, anyway, it's nice to to be here. Dibiendo persuaded me to, uh, and uh, it's good to it's good to be here. I I enjoy playing in in Kolkata. So the million dollar question on yeah. everyone's mind is: Why did you decide to run for the FIDE president? Well, I think the chess world deserves a much better choice than uh, Kirzan, who has brought. Uh, the organization to the brink of financial ruin, oblivion actually, because the, you know, FIDE cannot function without a bank account. And the Kirzan continuity candidate, Macropolis, who uh, is the guy who's basically kept him in power over all these decades. He now tries to present himself as a new face. He is simply a continuation of the bad old ways, what has gone on before. So you'll get something completely different with me. Sure, and uh, you see that you have been into this, like you have helped uh, Karpo, Kasparo previously. Yeah. Uh, how would this be different from, from previous times? Three horses. <laughs> Three horses, that's the, the, the big difference. So uh, that creates a lot of uncertainty. Um, I think, uh, uh, you know, previously very often pe people are making calculations. Yeah, if I vote for this guy, I can get this position here. And now, well, they have a choice, it's particularly in the first round. They may as well vote for the candidate uh, they like the best. And this uh, a lot of, it's created a lot of uh, confusion. And as I say, even the people who voted for, for Kiazan for, for years and years, uh, some of them, some are, not, uh, not, uh, are starting to think, well, hang on, we may have some uh, difficulties here, uh, not having a bank account. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's, it's a you know, fundamental problem. So uh, I seriously uh, wonder whether FIDE will exist uh, if he is re-elected. Um, I think it's highly unlikely, to be quite honest. Uh, I um, would say that Macropolis is the front runner, uh, but I'm going to come in with a very strong showing, and uh, that's what I. Uh, that's why I'm starting my campaign immediately after this. Uh, what would your event. strategy be like? Uh, going up like well it's very very simple you know i mean i i am a i'm the only alternative to the continuation of the bad old ways so that's it 
it's, you don't need a long campaign discussing other details here. You've got, we know what it's been like for the last 20 odd years. And uh, it's, it's been catastrophic. And so either you go on like this or you vote for change. Very, very simple. Yeah, of course, there will be many issues that you would be addressing. But if there was one that you would, if you became the FIDE president, what would that be? I'd open a bank account. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's what I would do. I'm, yeah, I'm very good at opening bank accounts and keeping them open. You know, that I can do. So uh, that's... Um, and th there would be so many things. Uh, there are a lot of governance issues which I think need to be addressed. Uh, term limits. Uh, we don't need presidents for life, presidents forever, because they have a huge patronage machine, machine at their uh, disposal. Uh, so that has got to stop. By the way, Macropolis has voted against that in the past. He's been instrumental in 2010 that there was a proposal from uh, the Ukrainian Chess Federation for term limits. The presidential board voted against it. So they advised the General Assembly to vote against it. You know, these are just the same, the same old people. And uh, time for something new. You have been uh, sort of attacking FIDE through Twitter. Uh, is it some kind of a uh, strategy from you to keep it public and very absolutely. transparent? Abs absolutely, because how is it possible that you can transfer the entire assets of an international sporting body somewhere and not tell your 189 member federations? It's their money. It belongs to the, the federations. You can't transfer millions and then keep quiet about it. I mean, that's just outrageous. And I doubt, I sincerely doubt, they would have divulged what they have divulged if I had not made a public issue about it. Sure. And there have been some ridiculous remarks from the, the uh, FIDE treasurer, uh, highly political letter, not answering any of the questions, uh, of course, on the FIDE website. Finally, finally, now, he uh, came forward uh, and answered a number of the questions. But had it not been for this uh, campaign, uh, he, I very much doubt whether we would have seen any of this. So, uh, yeah, it is a, it is a quite deliberate uh, strategy to keep things open and to keep them public. You know, why does it take two weeks for the World Chess Federation to, to say what they've done with the, the millions of, of the governing body. You haven't revealed any of your team members or backers. Uh, when would that happen or would you yeah. do it right now? Well, I'm, uh, I've not, um, I have not run in uh, uh, myself, but I, I have campaigned for others. And uh, one thing I've been aware of that if you uh, make announcements too soon, then your, your people, they get attacked and they, they, they've previously been attacked with diplomatic pressure uh, that will go on, the Russian diplomatic pressure. So if you set up people too soon, they become targets. And that's why I'm keeping this information back uh, for the moment. Uh, well, all, all these previous elections, it, it has been the, the, the same thing. So there are quite a lot of people who support you. Uh, they, um, uh, they definitely want you to do well and uh, they don't want to be exposed. And uh, I've, I've had those conversations. I've had those conversations with, uh, with people already, uh, you know, federations saying, yes, we think you're doing a good thing. Yes, 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 we don't want to stick our necks out. Uh, so that's why I want a short campaign. We've had very, very long campaigns in the past. It doesn't do any good. Let's just get on with it. The choice is absolutely simple. You don't need two years of campaigning and spending a lot of money. 
to know uh, what to choose for. It's, it's crystal clear on this occasion. And the final question to you, if you had a choice to become a FIDE president, or become a top 10 player in the world, what would you choose? Well, I've been a top 10 player in the world for t 10 years. Right and, now, and, and, <laughs> no, uh, that's okay. I, I've been a top 10 player and uh, that's absolutely fine. Uh, if you offered me the world championship, I would take that any day <laughs> uh, to, to uh, the FIDE presidency. But uh, um, otherwise, I've, I consider I've con I've achieved quite a lot in chess. Maybe I could have done better, but I'm, you know, satisfied uh, with my career. Thank you so much, Nigel, and we wish you all the best in your campaign. Thank you.